Hi everyone, it's Emma from Emma K Plans and welcome back to another video. Today's video I thought I would film um, just a bit of a flip through, kind of a look back on my favourite autumn slash fall spreads um, that I've ever done. As you know, autumn is my favourite season for planning so um, I've got a few but surprisingly there's actually a couple of years where I didn't really like any of them. I just went back and flipped through um, all my planners just then to kind of find which ones I liked and yeah there's some that I actually don't like which the whole season is weird because it's my favorite season um a little side note so I am struggling a little bit for video ideas so if you have anything that you want to see from me please let me know in the comments or message me on Instagram um I already have had a couple of requests for a kit collection video which I feel like I've done a few times now, but if the people want to see it, I will do another one. That's no problem. Um, so that'll probably be coming um, maybe next week, I think. I won't, that's going to take me like hours to film because I've got so many. Um, so I won't be able to do it this week, but maybe next week. But any other ideas that you have, please, please, please let me know. So um going back i'm just trying to figure out which planner i've got them all stacked up next to me and i'm trying to work out which one's first 2017 i think that one's got to be it right that one's 2015 what one's this probably should have done this at the start of the video oh this one doesn't have a year on it excellent i think this one was 2016. <sighs> please tell me if i can't find out i might cut this bit <laughs> Is there a calendar? No. Oh no, because I ripped the calendars out, that's right. 2017, here we go. Okay, so this is the first planner. So it's funny, I've put this as one of my favourite spreads, but it's probably more correct to say one of my favourite kits because, well, I didn't really fill the spread out, did I? <laughs> It's kind of, I went to work apparently, and that's all that I did. So, um, yeah, don't really know what to, what to do there, <laughs> but, um, I really liked this. Uh, this was kind of back in the days of very simple, like patterns, backgrounds, and then like a little clip art piece. So, um, obviously I like where things have gone now with art, don't get me wrong, but, um, I do sometimes miss the good old days and then you would always get a quote box in the kit that was always fun so um, I just like these colors I like the art it's really cutesy um, just fun I think that was the only one no, no sorry I tell you a lie there's another one Miss planner um, I don't know why I just use one piece of deco as well but um apparently that was the vibes so who knows um, next is this kit and this was one of my favorites like of all time i was so excited to use this um <clears throat> i think it was called fall in love not just from the quote but from memory i'm pretty sure um and i just loved the colors i thought this purple with the orange and green and then the navy to kind of keep it dark as opposed to like i don't know i feel like you could have thrown in a lighter color maybe the pink which still would have looked cool i guess but i just like that it's really dark I love this bottom washi. If someone put this bottom washi in a kit now, I would still love it. So, um, and then as you can see, that's a piece of, that's a deco bit, but if, like all these are just patterns. There's no actual like clip art or anything. They're all just patterns. So definitely um, was the good old days. And this is back when I used to, um, so I used to work like all day and then I would just mark my food in the, um ombre boxes because I didn't really need to you know I was just working all the time I didn't do anything and I wasn't memory planning I was kind of planning ahead kind of not so that's why I've got food um so yeah I think that's it in this planner let me just double check yes so that's it for autumn of 2017 Next, let's go into autumn of 2018. I think this is one of the years where I like almost every spread. So let's start with March. Oh, that's a banger. Yeah, okay. So, oh my God. This is obviously the first year. Is this 2018? Have I got the, yeah. First year that I decided to use foil 
Um, I don't know if you can see in the light, probably not. Come on, there. It's like gold foil everywhere. Um, this is beautiful. This was, I used the um, boxes that came with the kit. This was the SPC Mystery, I want to say. I think, I'm pretty sure it was. I could be wrong. Oops, I got like a hair stuck in there. Come on, come out. Um, pretty sure that was a mystery, but I might be wrong because it was a few years ago. Um, and this was kind of, it's funny how big of a jump, like one year, went from that one you last saw to this one. Like how close that is, how close this is to my style now. Obviously it's a little different, but it's mostly the same. Like the layout and the style, the way I plan um, is very similar. Whereas that one last year is like totally different. So it's just interesting like in one year um, how much changes, but I love this. This to me is like quintessential autumn. The colors are just beautiful. Um, I actually can't believe how long I've had this for. This is my favorite Simply Girl to Boshi of all time, the autumn one. I always try and pull it in at least once a once a season, but not too much because I don't want to waste it. So <laughs> it's a fine line. Um, yeah, I just, it's funny because I look at this and the art really is not my favorite. I actually don't even know the artist just looking at it. It kind of looks like coffee doodles, but it kind of doesn't. I, I don't know, I've got no idea, but I don't actually like the art looking at it. It's not my style, but I love, love the spread. So I don't know. Um, so that's one, and then the next one I wasn't a huge fan of. Oh, there's my favourite birthday kit of all time. God, I was pretty good in um this year. I did some banger spreads. Come on, I flipped through just before. Is this it? No, this is not. Sorry. This one um, ended up being, I remember, so this one, looking at it now, is not my favourite, but I remember at the time how insane I loved this one. Like, <laughs> I just read this, James Charles is cancelled. <laughs> well, nothing's changed, has it? <laughs> that was when Tati did her, um, was it like Sister Cancelled or something video and back then I was a huge Tati fan so that was like my favourite thing of life and I still, James Charles is a freaking loser and I've never liked him but that was like huge. I remember just being on like Reddit and everything all day just like keeping up so that's funny I just noticed that. But anyway, um, so looking at this at the time, not such a huge fan. Sorry, looking at this now, not such a huge fan, but I remember at the time I thought this was the most divine spread I've ever done. Like I absolutely loved it. I took a risk with the gold hollow. Um, which I'll see if I can grab in the light. That's yeah, probably good. I took a risk with it and it ended up, I think, paying off like insane. Like I just loved the way it turned out. Um, and I mean, I look at this now and I still love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like the most amazing spread and apparently I was really angry um fuck every bit of today <laughs> um so yeah this was from Glam Planner and I liked the foil I brought in um ew, I hate that spread I think that's it for this no I snuck this one in in the May to June week um and I loved this art and I decided to pull in rose gold with it um, and I just think the rose gold just set off the green beautifully. Um, this was just, I'll just see if I can show you. There. Um, I just loved how unique this art was. Like just, I've never seen anything like it to that day. And I still, you know, have never seen anything like it. It's just beautiful. Oh, Meg Glam Planners PR team. That's fun. I'm still there. Um, still love it also. <sighs> yes, it's, um, I don't know, I don't have much to say about this aside from I really loved it because it was just such a different art and I love how the rose gold set off the green. That's 2018. Now let's move on to 2019. May, oops. Wait, I reckon I've got in the wrong order. I have. Um, I'm really sorry. I've gone out of order. 
there, there was a reason there was a huge jump. In saying that, there's still a huge jump between this and the one that you just saw. I very much apologize. This is 2018. That must have been 2019. So yeah, it was. So I went 2017, 2019, 2018. Please don't hate me. I'm sorry. Um, this art I feel like is iconic. And that really bothers me that I can't remember what it was called. It had like a name and I can't remember. Was it a mystery kit? I don't reckon it was. No, it was just like, it's iconic. You, if you've been around the block, you know this art, the like full, what even, I'm sure Americans have a name for these. I don't know what they are. They look apple on a stick. They look weird to me, but I'm sure they have a name. Um, cupcake sort of, I don't know. This art was iconic and just the, for me, it was the colors. I loved the colors. So nothing sort of special to ride home about here. I just realized, so I've gone all out of order. I'm sorry, but this is the, the month the year that I loved almost all of my autumn spreads. So that's why I was confused looking last time because I was like, hold on, I thought I loved all my spreads, but it's this week, this year. I don't know, what am I trying to say? Um, this was another favorite. I'd, knew, um, I'd been hoarding this one for a little while, I think. Um, this is the year that I pretty much bought every autumn kit that Scribble Prince Co put out. This was the time when she had the the like vertical sheet with the deco, the date numbers, the circle icons on the front, and then the full boxes were into, like on the next page. I feel like that was the format. Well, I f that was the format. I feel like that's how I'm trying to explain it. And that was my favorite format of her kit ever in terms of not that I loved the format so much, but I loved the kits back then. It just kind of represents the era for me. I just feel like it was when um, planning was a little more low key, um, less competitive, if you will. Um, you know, there was no such thing really as exclusive art. And um, it was just like, I don't know, a little more low key and uh, kind of the glory days, but you never know you're in the glory days until you're not anymore. So. Anyway, um, I love these colors. That was like the main thing. I just really thought they kind of set each other off like teal and this burnt orange, really pretty. Then I remember this, when I bought this, I was so excited about it. And looking back now, it's like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. However, it was one of my favorites at the time. So that's why it's in here. Um, I don't really know what to say. It's very like this Burberry pattern. This was when like Bloomsicle was huge. Like she was the, whenever Bloomsicle art came out, that was like the most exciting thing ever. I don't know where she's gone now, but she never puts out art. Um, but this was the heyday of Bloomsicle. Um, I loved this one. This was from Glam Planner. Um, I loved the pinks and stuff like this magenta pink and then the salmony pink mixed with green and teal divine loved this um very much no white space still um, which is a little scary it's just so much on the page um but i really liked this and it but even looking back like i don't know this artist i don't like the art but love the spread um moving on to is there another one in here oh i probably use this art twice that's weird no, I just wanted to show you. So apparently I use this art twice. Which this is the first week I think I ever did no um white space. Yeah it is. Literally the first week I ever did white space. How crazy is that? Yep, <laughs> that's insane. And then this one is up there with royalty. Like this is just has to be out there with the best spread of all time. Um, this kit, if you've kind of been around a little while, you'll know everyone went nuts over it and rightly so. It's like a New York artist kind of vibe. I actually bought another one in this same format off the buy, sell, trade. Um, and I'm hoarding it because I don't want to use it because I love it so much. I'm just missing the gold glitter headers, but I've got everything else. Um, and I'm just, it's just beautiful. This is when I started printing my own scripts as well. Um... I don't know, it's just, this is beaut. I love this. There's not much to say aside from 
It's divine. That was 2018. <laughs> Going in completely in order. Then um, I don't have any from 2019. Apparently I just hated the year. Just didn't like it at all. So next I'm going to go into... Wait, no. I didn't like any from 2020. Sorry. Um, I'm going to go into 2021. So this is the first spread. Um, this is kind of a bit of a cheat, I guess, because it's like autumn celebration. Um, but this is one of my favorite spreads of all time. Um, I think if you watched my wedding wrap up video, you would have seen me rave about it. So I'm not going to go on for too long, but again, it's this washi, um, it's the colors. It's just the whole vibe. One of my favorites ever. And then um, it's the one that I'm up to for this week. So this one's not finished. But I thought I'd include it anyway. Um, well, the the base is finished. I haven't done the scripts and the um, character stickers and stuff. But this has also turned out to be one of my favourites ever. I'm just trying to show you how you can see that orange bonfire foil is just stunning. Um, I just I knew I was going to love this. I knew when I put it with the bonfire, I was going to love it even more. And just it laid down is is exactly how I wanted it. It's absolutely incredible um i feel like there's one coming in a couple of weeks that's also going to be a favorite um if it is i'll post it on my instagram but for the moment that is a look back on all of my favorite autumn spreads for the years i've been planning so far there was so there was none from the first year that i liked and then there was none from 2020 but i've been doing five years of autumn spreads this is my fifth year um, and who knows where I will go from here. So onto bigger and better things, hopefully. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, like rating is always appreciated. Um, let me know in the comments, which one was your favorite. And again, if you have any videos that you want to see from me, otherwise I will see you in my next video. Bye.